Hey guys, I'm so excited to introduce you to one of my fellow fasters in the fasting community. And the channel is called Taking Down the Fat with C-Dub. He is going to be here so we can give you 10 tips on how to get started on your fast. But the difference here is he's gonna do five tips and I'm gonna do five, but he's gonna do five right now on my channel. And then please go over to check out the second five tips from me on his channel. And I will leave a link below. Looking so forward to this video and really appreciate your support for both the channels. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling now. And I just wanna introduce you to Taking Down the Fat with C-Dub with the five tips of fasting on Reg Edited. Hey guys, my name is C-Dub and I'm here to talk to you about five tips. But first I just wanna thank Reg Edited for allowing me to come to her great channel and talk to you guys. These are my five tips to get you going fasting and to get you started right now. So my first tip guys is to take it slow. Don't rush into fasting. I think the number one thing people do wrong is they, they see my video or they see Reg Edited's video and you guys say, all right, you know, I'm gonna hop right into this thing and do OMAD tomorrow. And you never fast a day in your life. It's something you have to grow into. I didn't do OMAD on my first day. I started with a 16 to eight. If you're struggling on a 16 and eight, do a 12 and 12 and work your way up. Eventually, if you get to OMAD, that's just such a wonderful place to be. But I, I want you to start out slow and build your fasting muscles. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is drink plenty of water. Guys, water is the number one thing our bodies run on. It's not food, it's water. You can go long periods of time without eating, you can't go very long without drinking. That's just a fact. But oftentimes when you feel hungry, if you just sit down and drink, it'll make you feel a lot better. And even if you get down to your OMAD meal, if you drink a whole glass of water before you eat, that's gonna fill part of your stomach up, that's gonna make you in a better situation, and it's gonna help out a bunch. So drink plenty of water. All right, my tip number three, guys, break your fast with something healthy. You know, all of us that, that are, not all of us on OMAD, but some of us on OMAD that may not follow a particular diet, may wanna have something sweet, may wanna have something that we like, something that's not the healthiest for us. I don't think you should break your fast with that. Number one, it makes you feel bad. Number two, uh, bad foods have high calories a lot of times and not for a lot of food, like a teeny piece of cheesecake can range from 500 to 1,000 calories. That's a lot of calories. So if you're eating it beforehand and you're eating a bigger slice and you're eating a little bit more of it, um, you're gonna mess your calorie count up a little bit there. So my advice is to save whatever you're gonna eat for the end, fill yourself up maybe with a good salad, something green, vegetables, um, eat something healthy first, work your way in, eat your whole meal, and then if you wanna have uh, chocolate or you wanna have something else, go ahead and have it. Just have it at the end, not at the beginning. My tip number four is flexibility, guys. You gotta be able to move your window when you need to. If you're an OMAD eater and you've got a breakfast at work, don't tell everybody at work, I can't eat breakfast. Go ahead and eat your breakfast. And if you can't make it all the way till the next day at dinner, then go ahead and eat dinner that night and hop right back on it. 364 days of the OMAD diet is gonna do you fine, even if you fall off on one of them. But if you can fast all the way through, fast all the way through. I've done it before. I had a breakfast this year with my, my work. I didn't eat all the way till the next day at dinner. Not a big deal once you've built that fasting muscle, but you can move your window, you know, maybe, my wife and I occasionally have an opportunity to go see a movie midday. You know, I'm gonna eat at the movies. So that's gonna be my one meal. I'm gonna order some food. I'm gonna get that done. I'm not gonna feel guilty about it. And it's it just the flexibility of OMAD's time in the window. So that's something I suggest you look into. Guys, and the last tip, and I think maybe the hardest thing for me when I first started too. Guys, you gotta remember that your fasting journey is your fasting journey. It's personal to you. Not everybody out there has to be on a fasting journey. Not everybody has to understand your fasting journey. And that's hard for us all to understand. But when you tell people at first, especially when you're still overweight, I can remember being 300 pounds and saying to somebody, oh no, I'm fasting. And they're like, what? You're starving yourself? That's not the answer. Guys, they don't understand. 
and maybe over time they can understand and slightly talking here and there and pointing out some of the benefits and talking maybe about a 16-8 first and doing different things to warm people up to it, let them do some research on their own, um, especially the people close to you that, that love you and care about you, you know, uh, ease them into it, you know. So I just think fasting is very personal. It's something that you do for you. You know, I know that in, on, on um, Reg Edited's channel, she, she talks a lot about faith and fasting and, and all those kind of things, guys. And it is part of it. It is all something that you're going on a journey that's, that, that's not only a physical journey, but in, in a lot of ways, no matter who you are, OMAD is a spiritual journey and it's a personal journey. So keep it personal, especially in the beginning, till you get through the rough time and you're able to say, okay, you know, I've, I've shown you the results. Like myself, I've lost 120 pounds. I can stand there and look at you in the face and you can say I'm crazy, but the results speak for themselves. So people are more apt to believe and listen to me now than they were when I was 300 pounds. And so I don't even want to go down that path anymore with people. So, you know, we're back in the day. So guys, that's it for me. I appreciate um, Reg Edited for letting me come on her channel. I love her to death. She's got the best hair on the internet, guys. I appreciate your support of her. And if you want to head over and see her five tips, come to my channel and check them out. And you'll hear what she has to say and her five tips to starting fasting. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.